everybody. Welcome to Dave TV. <laughs> it's uh, about 8.30. It's uh, got the new Sony Action Cam. So I'm doing these Dave TVs. This is ultra high def now. This is high def with, with 170 degree field of view. So we'll see how that works. And I'm doing uh, another uh, Shave Dave episode. I don't know. I, sh I, I think better when I shave. You know, you know who that is? So anyhow, I'm doing a Shave Dave episode today. My hair, I haven't shaved in two days, so the hair's growing back on the sides anyway and down around here. So I thought I'd do that. So anyway, how are you all doing? It's the um, 29th of November. It's the day after Black Friday. Um... Radio-wise, people are saying to me already, it's already the, getting near the end of the year. You know, the Washington Post does this best of already. It's not even December yet. It's not even December yet. And the Washington Post has a big best of... How do you do a best of uh, the year when you still have a whole month of the year to go? The year isn't even over yet. That's how stupid this paper is. This paper is stupid. Stupid! It's mindless. But anyhow, Hank Stuver. At least the one thing I, I, I like. I like Hank Stuver. He's practically the only thing at the Post that's any good these days. But anyhow, um, the Americans. Well, why am I? Why am I? I could bring the camera over there. I got. I got the shaving cream off my hands. So let's bring the camera over here. The Americans. And Fargo, two best things of the year. I would agree with Hank, except I'd put Fargo up to number one, the Americans at number two. The rest of this stuff, Game of Thrones, nah, didn't like it. Never liked Walking Dead. Um, never saw Transparent, never even heard of it. But it's an Amazon show, so I guess Hank has to hype it because, of course, Jeff Bezos, who owns Amazon, owns the paper. Good Wife, never watched that. CBS sitcom crap. Silicon Valley. Didn't watch that, although I did watch the uh, AMC one, Halt and Catch Fire, which wasn't bad. I wouldn't say it was great, but it was pretty good, the uh, computer show. Olive Curve. Never watched that. Roosevelt's. Excellent Roosevelt's. I would put Roosevelt's up, maybe number three. Brilliant show. I'll try to get into Orange. Can't do it. Liked Veep. Veep was good. Eh, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> I put Mark Maron. I like his shows on AMC. Over the summer, like Mark. But that's that's you know, television sucks. Most of television is crap anyway. So and yeah, you know, and 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 it's like the media, local media. So what are we gonna say? Big big stuff with local media here for 2014. You know, I guess the biggest story of the year, the decline and fall of the Washington Post. This paper is sinking, whether they know it or not. It is. It's it's sad. And the other thing. Um, I guess I would have to say is the whole change over with Channel 7. You know, Sinclair taking over there. I think that's more, more of an issue than people think. And it's the whole, it's not just Channel 7, I think, but it's the whole change in the media environment. I think we're seeing radical changes this year in the way people get their television and how they look at television. You know, the, the, the age of that network, you're just a network where they have a show after another show after another show and you sit and watch it that's been around since the 50s, that whole thing is changing. We're now going to menus. You know, you go on a menu, whether it's a DVR menu or it's a Netflix menu or a Hulu menu or even on your cable systems website, you go into a menu and then you go to CBS and you go to the shows and you watch when you want. You know, there still will be live sports out there. You know, that's always going to be a big draw. But as far as entertainment programming, film stuff, whatever. I think we're at the whole, the whole universe, the whole TV thing is radically changing. So I really think we're seeing a lot of that. And I think that's something we can look for in the new year. Yeah. Radio. Here's the sad thing about radio. The Federal Communications Commission has done so much to screw things up over the years. And one of the things they really missed the ball on a couple, you know, decade or two ago was this digital radio thing. The FCC basically just said, ah, we don't know what to do with it. We'll do this thing where we call 
HD radio, where basically radio stations can existing stations can run a digital signal on their near their existing channel. So you know, and then they can run a sub channel or two on that and whatever. And it, it comes across as just an afterthought. Digital radio in America is kind of an unpopular afterthought that nobody really seems to care about. And yet there's so much that they could have done with digital radio if it was an independent kind of thing. If the FCC had said, look, let's take a band somewhere and, and make that the digital radio band and then allow the existing stations to populate it, but also AMers to populate it, you know, so they can get rid of their crappy AM signals, and then we can get a lot of new stations to populate that. And then you could have a whole creative thing going on in digital radio and that kind of thing. But it didn't happen. It hasn't happened. And it probably won't. You know, it's happening potentially in Europe. You're seeing that in Europe. Uh, what was it, one country? What country was that? It was one of the countries. I can't think of it now. It wasn't England. Ireland, maybe? One of the countries... Damn it, I can't think of... Sweden, no, it was, no, it was Norway. Someplace like that. They're actually thinking about flipping everything over to digital radio. Everything would go digital in a couple years. So there would be no more analog radio. So if you took an existing radio over there, it just wouldn't get anything. Well, it wouldn't get anything from that country. But I don't see that happen. You know, that's going to be a long way from happening over here. I don't know. You know, I look at the radio dial here in the Washington area over the last year, and I just say, you know, it's just boring. Radio is capital B boring. You know, you listen to these radio stations, even the classic rock stations, you look at classic rock and you say, there's so much music out there. We're talking the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, even the 90s. We're talking about five, six decades of rock music. And they play the same friggin' 50 songs over and over and over again. Is that nuts? <laughs> because some frigging research company says that's what we should play. We don't want to scare anybody away. We don't want to, they want to hear the same three Rolling Stones songs over and over again. The same three Beatles songs, the same three Eagles songs. And you get this, and you, you know, it's like this just mindless slush of awful radio. And you know, a lot of people, again, are saying, well, why are you complaining so much about radio? Well, that's true. You know, there's so many other ways to get your music now, and that's what I do, too. I hardly, you know, I'll tell you, I... The one thing that's changed about Dave's listening habits over the last couple of years is, yeah, I don't listen to radio um, for music anymore. I really don't. I don't listen to radio for music. I listen to talk. You know, that's something I can't necessarily, you know, the news, I listen to, you know, I listen to WNEW, I listen to WTOP, I listen to some political talk on MAL, although, you know, I'll get into MAL one of these days too, but it's becoming almost like a Comedy Central parody station. It's almost funny to listen to. They're so bad. It's so awful. It's so hackneyed. A bunch of dopey hacks. But in a weird way, it's kind of funny. Um, so anyway, so those are some of my trends on the radio, television. What's it coming to? Again, I think we're seeing some. We're in the midst of some radical changes in radio and television over the next couple of years. And it's just starting out right now. And I really think this is going away. Washington Post doesn't know what it's doing right now. It's um, they're trying to keep this print edition alive on life support, and they don't know where they're going on the web. You know, I think Bezos is trying to take them more and more into a national news service. And you know, local news is just kind of you know you get a hodgepodge of little websites. I don't know. It's it's kind of weird, but uh, you know, it'll all work out. Someone will fill the gap. Eventually, when all these newspapers start just going national, it's the National Post. Someone will come along and say, hey, wait a minute. There's an empty space here for local news stuff. That's kind of what DCRTV does. You know, there's an empty space for local media news. Nobody's really doing that anymore. Even the newspapers aren't doing that anymore, and that's what we're doing. So, so anyhow, that's another pitch. Help support the site. Really, help support the site. You see a bunch of ads in there. I give a lot of good deals. Don't make a hell of a lot of money. We need your help, okay? <laughs> Send us a couple bucks. Do the PayPal thing. You click on the DCRTV support link. Um, and there's also, we can send us a check, put some stuff, some cash, you know, and wrap it up in paper, put it in the, you know, I we'll won't know who sent it. You can be from uh, Cumulus, and I won't tell you. I won't, I won't tell anybody. 
All right, I think I'm shaved pretty good. What do you think? You got morning a crud out of the beard. What are we hitting now on the, uh, the mark? Oh, the 10 minute mark. That's just about right. Very good. So how does that look? Got the camo pants on today. Well, Dave, when don't ya? All right, folks. Thanks for watching my little rambling rant. Um, today, what I'm going to do? Let me do some hikes. I got some. There's some parks. I got some pathway hikes here. There's a. Might do Lake Fairfax, and there's also the Cross County Trail. Might do a chunk of that today. So who knows? Nice Saturday. Hope it'll warm up a bit. Thanks for watching Dave TV uh, for the 20 uh, 29th of November 2014.